Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to create this look as you guys see on in the intro. We're going to start off using this palette, Unleash Your Inner Artist by James Charles. And we're going to take this bright pink color and work it to our upper crease. We're just going to softly blend this out to create a better blended crease area. So the next shade I decided to take was this purple shade in the palette. I'm just going to focus this a little bit lower than the pink transition shade earlier that I have applied and softly blend them together. The shade was a little bit hard but it was really pigmented and you also add on color so it was really buildable so don't worry about it not blending that good. Um, just take your time and it will softly mix or combine together. Next, I'm going to be using this black shade in the palette with a smaller, thinner brush and begin to go lower than the second shade that I have applied to my lids and just use the remaining products to work it towards the inner corners of my eye and also the outer V. But we're still focusing on the crease area. So for concealer to cut my crease, I'm going to use the Camouflage Catrice Concealer. I'm going to draw like half a sphere in order to create the effect of clouds. And I'm going to draw four of them and just bring the concealer down to my lash line. And just take your time on this. I'm really bad at it too, but um, just slowly build and pack on the shapes that you want. And when you're satisfied with your cloud look, then that is... line of the clouds I'm going to use this glitter by NYX and just trace the area of the spheres that I've created and that will just give us an idea of where our cloud is and it separates it from the shadow so you clearly see the cloud lining better. After this, I'm just going to use the glitter primer and use the NYX glitter. Um, I totally forgot the name, but I'll leave it in the description below. And I'm just going to pack the glitter onto the areas where I apply the primer. And that's going to be the cloud that we are creating for this eye look. Taking the same shade that I used for the transition shade earlier, I'm just going to pack this right in the inner corner in the middle of the eyelid. And I'm also going to be using the second shade I used earlier and put this next to that shade as well while blending it to the outer V. I'm going to use this NYX white liner and create the stars or diamonds, whatever you guys like to call it. 
At first, I really wanted to create hearts for this look, but I forgot and I created stars. So I just decided to like complete this look because I'm a really, really, really far and I didn't want to restart. So I added these stars. I'm just going to call them stars. And just slowly draw X and flick the designs out, if that makes sense. And then draw little white dots to create like further stars. And this time takes like a while, so just slowly draw them and they'll turn out perfect. And I'm just going to use this shade to highlight my underbrows. Here I'm just cleaning up my mess underneath my eye. I don't have foundation underneath it. I'm going to use my mascara by Too Faced and it's the Better Six Mascara to apply for my upper and lower lashes. And I normally don't show you guys how I apply my lashes because I'm very terrible at them. But here's just a little bit of a clip. And I fast forward this part because um, I showed my routine of how I applied my foundation and concealer and all that stuff in my other videos. So if you're interested in that, then you just go ahead and watch my other videos on my channel. just went through an earthquake and it's like 4 in the morning that I am recording this right now but if you hear my dog like crying or like whining upstairs it's because she is scared of the earthquake that just happened but I can't go up there right now so I will take a look at her later I'm trying to complete this video sorry guys if you guys hear her crying but for this part here, I just use the same shades that I use for my eyes to complete the color ranges for the cheeks and nose area. And I'm just going to do the same exact designs I did for my eyes and draw the stars the way I drew it on my eyes as well. I decided to create this look getting inspired by James Charles, Nikki Tutorials, and other awesome YouTubers. And so if you guys love these type of looks and tutorials, please do let me know. I would create more. And um, just don't forget to subscribe before you leave and like this video. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next videos. Bye guys.